actually watching it, isn't he? <laughs> but this is a female magnificent. And here's another. There's the female. Things look promising. They can only have come for one reason. I thought dogs couldn't watch TV. A flicker of gold. He's definitely and there watching he is, it. The magnificent bird of paradise. Is amazing. The male Look at him. is clearing away leaves that are yeah, no. the stage seems set. But there's a distraction. Another <laughs> male. Isn't that amazing? There's a standoff between the two males. Then the females take action. Nice <laughs> cool. Surprisingly, they charge the intruder. That is incredible. You pause it, mate. <laughs> it's too late to ring Kathy, isn't it? She gets to bed earlier than me. You Is pause she? the computer, or you press pause. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too late to ring it? <laughs> Honey? I don't know. I'll have to press start again. Here we go. And drive him out. Incredible. Look, he's watching. He's watching it intently. He's David David Attenborough fan. Himself, the court maker can give the most interested female all his attention. <laughs> can you believe that? Look. He begins to transform himself for her. Puffing and pulsing his breast feathers creates a special effect. An emerald green heart-shaped breast shield to dazzle her with. It's amazing. Next to his eyes, two tiny iridescent spots flash at her. Hey, honey. You might think that this little jewel of a bird was one of a kind. You should see this. But it has a puzzle on an offshore island that, in isolation, has changed into a different species. Wilson's bird. One of them. Seeing the Perotia dance gives Miriam an insight into the intimate rituals of her people. When I was sitting in the hut, I was thinking back to people here in Papua New Guinea. They have these gatherings where they go into a hut and sit in a row, the alternating male, female, male, female. They start singing and rocking their heads back and forth. It's like picking on someone they fancy. And I can understand why when they do their traditional dance, they put the feathers on. Probably to them represent something, you know, that's that's kind of sacred they find in the forest. And because of the bird's behavior, it's a very unique and uh, special bird. Papuans are steeped in the mysteries of their tribal past. Nobody knows it all. Only that birds and humans have been together for thousands of years. The desire to possess the beauty of the birds is an ancient obsession. They 
question the dancers about where and how they got their feathers. It's so treasured by human dancers. Just paused my computer again. <laughs> 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 